Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, and we're kicking into the 4th of July, folks, and let's make it a great one. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best to mean take action on your ideas. You have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. And thank God the Founding Fathers took action on their idea. You're gonna love it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 209, NASDAQ up 44, S&P's up 21, gold contract up dollar at 1808. Silver down 55 cents, 19 dollars 80 cents an ounce. Platinum off 20 bucks, 875 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 2 dollars 59 cents, trading at 108.34. The notes and bonds, the 10 year note up one tick, up up one point rather, trading at a price point of 119.18. 30 year up a full point plus six ticks at 139.26 in King Dollar. King dollar's up uh, 434 ticks, trading 105, 118. Euro at 104, yen at 135.25, and the British pound at 120 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, the bottom line, folks, is that we're kicking into the holiday. You come down yesterday with volume, you go up today with light volume, bottom line. That's the whole deal about building cars for lower price, okay? So, you know, yesterday you could go south at 112 million, you go up today with 51 million. That's in your, sp in your spy. And your, <coughs> excuse me, folks, in your three Qs, what you have out here is that you're up 81 cents yesterday. We go south with 79 million today, you go uh, north with 43. Uh, bottom line, you still got the ABC structures on the way down. <clears throat> and I expect those are going to get hit. Gold. This is this really intriguing what happened with gold out here this morning. So they smoke gold in, in a monster way. Gold basically gets down to, well, not basically, it gets down to 18, uh, 1783. Uh, it was trading down all night. And then guess what? You know, 820 in the morning is when the pit opens. And so... Uh, the folks in the pit decided, hey man, I'll, I'll buy gold uh, at this uh, 1783. They they took the bait, they bought it. That being said, folks, see that number up there? 232,000 contracts, not a good number. Why? Because that's a high volume low now. And when you actually take a look at this, if you're watching Target TV right now, you're gonna see it, all this is done. You know, bottom line, we had made it up to 1826 yesterday, and it can't, it's coming right up to ice, man. Ice is laying out right here at about the 1813 level, and we got to 1810. Silver. I, I, we got to look at the silver one because, uh, let's see. Because what has happened here, they really took silver cells. That, that's what happens. I mean, the, the bottom line, S, uh, S, I, N, uh, S, S, I, let me see this. What is this active contract? Come on, baby. Well, I'll take this contract. This is not the active, but I'll take it anyway. Okay, so let's see what this thing broke. Oops. Come on. Okay, so this baby here, ooh. Okay, so I gotta go SI1. I gotta get the generic contract on silver. And you know, bottom line is that, you know, gold has been stronger than silver. Yeah, uh, but that, that being said, I just, we wanna see what this is going into. Okay, so, okay, I see. So you come with that large strength, 1794. We hit 1926. Well, silver's got to get back inside 2141. Uh, this baby wants to get down into that 1794 level. Pretty intense. Now, let's go to the 10-year, because what we have out here, the you, you get a you bounce going in the 10-year and the 30-year. 
the we did 189,000 contracts. Not a lot of contract volume, but this, this is the time that you do a bounce. There's no doubt, man. Um, you know, so your next leg here is 120. 19 hit 12004 um the volume's not bad you know we, we took out a b point but it's not going to be an abc up because the b point had 2.2 million contracts and you're at 189 right now uh if we go take let's go take a look at the tlt that's the the tlt is the 20 year plus now uh the tlt that goes yeah there you go that goes up look see how light the volume is there on the tlt Bottom line, you're coming into uh, 28 million, doing 17 million. That's on the daily. Let's put this on the weekly. Yeah, so the weekly you're coming up to a swing. I mean, the TLT can get to like 119 maybe. Yeah, it can. Oh, hold it. Let's look at this. Hold it. Well, yeah, it is. It's a small ABC up. Depends on whether that came. Give me one second here. I just want to see if this. It actually probably retraced too much for that. But it did take a swing out on a weekly with volume. The last, we, we took out, it was 25 million versus 20. So if it is, let's see, that's 108. You got seven, 118. Yeah, you're probably gonna go to 119. You know, there's, there's, a, there's somewhat relief. Uh, but guess what, folks? All you have to do, you know, the, there's a million different analysts on a continual basis. In this particular case, there's a million analysts coming out saying, okay, you know, you've seen the worst rates in this, you know. What I would do, folks, okay, just look at the Fed funds rate. The Fed funds rate, okay, is 1.50 to 1.75. Well, the Fed's telling you that it's going to basically three, you know. So the, the bottom line is that, you know, uh, <laughs> you know. We're not even close to where the Fed is going. You know, it's actually blowing my mind sometimes that uh, there's so many people, uh, you know, uh, basically turn around saying, oh, no, they're going to have to go back down on rates. It's like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, you evidently uh, have not seen how inflation can wreck, you know, everything. And no one's immune from inflation, folks. Okay, if you think you're immune from inflation and you're sitting pretty, you're not. We're all going to be affected in a monster way. It just steals your money like this. Rips it out. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrials up 274. NASDAQ up 65. S&P's up 30. We'll come right back.